Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, we're going to be upgrading my hard drive for the PlayStation 4 Pro to a 2 terabyte hard drive. The PlayStation 4 Pro actually comes out with a 1 terabyte hard drive, but believe me guys, with these game installations, um, this will fill up really, really fast. Now, I decided to upgrade to the Barracuda Seagate 2.2 terabytes. Of course, uh, the minimum requirement when it comes to thickness, it has to be no more than 9.5 millimeters when it comes to the hard drive and of course it has to be a 2.5 hard drive 2.5 millimeter hard drive 3.5 is for desktops 2.5 is normally for laptops so it has to be a 2.5 hard drive with um and no thicker than 9.5 millimeter this one right here is seven millimeters which is not bad and of course two terabyte this one is actually the speed is actually 5400 if i'm not mistaken same as the the way it comes here by default so you're not going to have any problems there whatsoever uh what you're going to need for this video or to install it of course is your hard drive you're going to need a screwdriver which is um this thick i don't see the size of this uh, philip screwdriver cross small one and this right here, uh, USB drive, it could be at least two gigabytes in size because the firmware is actually gonna be around 900 megabytes. So at least two gigabytes of available storage for your uh, firmware. Now, let's go ahead here to the hard drive. Let's go put this inside here. To access the hard drive for the PlayStation 4, you're gonna have to, the best way to access it is to just turn it over like this, upside down because we need to access the hard drive right there. Uh, right here, it's gonna have, you're gonna have to apply some pressure on this little plastic. Okay, so there you go. So like you see there, it came out really easily. If it doesn't just apply a little bit pressure. Uh, like you see there, the plastic is a way smaller than the plastic on the normal PlayStation 4. I'm gonna put this to the side. And now you're gonna see the screw right there visible. And of course, that's the reason why we're putting this upside down because it's way easier to just go like this and unscrew it there you go like you see there you need a small phillips screwdriver and there it is and you can see there the little screw has all the signals for the or the symbols for the playstation you got the square the triangle the circle and the x that's pretty cool <laughs> gonna put that to the side now this should slide out yes it should there you go bum, 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 bum. there you go now remember when we're putting it in we're putting it in it upside down as well so there it is so now what we're going to do is take one two three four these four screws out with the same screwdriver because uh, the size is basically the same okay so once you take out the four screws this thing is just gonna slide off it's just right there like basically laying over there and that's it no pressure whatsoever you need to apply at all so now we're gonna go ahead and put the new one like this just make sure you put it the same way this hard drive was so it was like this so we're gonna put the new one the same way okay don't don't go ahead and put it this way just go ahead and put it this same way and now we're gonna go ahead and try to you see yeah, the, the hard drive has the same little holes so it's gonna fit any any hard drive which is a 2.5 so let's go ahead and do this too okay so we're done here now make sure you of course adjust the screws but don't do it too hard please because if you do it too hard uh, you might break these screws right here or you might damage the hard drive and we don't want to do that so this is basically done we're just applying a little bit of pressure there but there you go this is not going to fall from there so now that you have that done all you got to do is just slide it in the same way that you took out the other one just slide this one in there you go it's going to apply a little bit of pressure because it's going to be connecting to the uh, adapter and once you do that we're going to go ahead and put the last screw so you see there it's really 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 easy to replace the hard drive 
for the normal PlayStation 4 and for this PlayStation 4 Pro. And go ahead and that's it, a little bit tighter there. And that's it, once you do that, just go ahead and put the cover. Remember, the cover goes the same way. You're not gonna have any problem whatsoever putting the cover, but because there's no way to get it wrong. So there you go. So once you do that, we are done. We can just turn it over again. And now we, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go to the computer and show you guys how to get the firmware and how to install, um, download it properly to your usb drive okay guys now that we have finished installing the hard drive on the playstation 4 pro we're gonna have to go ahead and plug in the usb drive in the computer it could be pc or it could be mac it doesn't really matter and remember the reason we're doing this is because the playstation 4 pro now has a new hard drive so it has no operating system it has no firmware it's completely blank so we're gonna have to install the latest firmware and what we're gonna do here we're gonna go to the website which of course I'm going to leave the proper link um, instead of installing this one you, we're going to go ahead and hit this link right here it says do you want to perform a fresh install of the full system software yes click right there and this is where it's going to take you so I'm going to actually leave this link that way you automatically go here so like see it says this procedure is for initializing your PlayStation 4 system and performing a new installation of the system software such as when you are replacing your hard drive hard disk drive the usb storage should be at least big enough to fit at least 900 megabytes so at least you know at least one gigabytes uh, i would go two gigabytes or over um here we're gonna hit this link right here click right there it says download now the we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish okay so we got three two one and it's done it's completely downloaded so now that it's downloaded we're gonna go ahead and look for the file right i'm gonna go to here choose show and folder so it's right there i have the update already available here as well um, but it doesn't matter which one you install just make sure you install the proper update now we're gonna go ahead here on the usb drive you're gonna go ahead and make a folder that says playstation 4 ps4 just like that open it up and here you're gonna have a couple folders if you have connected this usb drive to a playstation 4 before you're gonna have these files it says save data share and export right here we're gonna go ahead and create a folder that says update go ahead and create update update and that's it inside this folder we're gonna go ahead and put this update right here and drag it over here to the hard drive or the usb drive uh, you can use a hard drive as well. Some people ask me if you sh if you can use a hard drive. Yes, you could do that as well. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have the proper storage, and that's it. So once you do that, once you install that, it's gonna take a little, a couple seconds there and here we are done like you see there this is how the file is going to look do not rename this file at all do not rename it leave it the way it is because then the playstation 4 is not going to recognize the file and then we're going to have to do it all over again uh keep in mind the way that i'm transferring my information from the old playstation 4 to my new playstation 4 is by saving the data the save data from the playstation 4 to the usb drive i'm not doing the i'm not i'm not transferring absolutely everything because i just want to do a fresh install of games and all that so i'll be in, installing all my save files and i'll be installing the games that i really want to keep on playing that's it so i rather do that than transferring the whole information because it's going to take hours to do that so other than that now we're going to go to to the playstation 4 make sure you eject it and we're ready to go okay so now that we have downloaded the firmware to the usb drive connected to the playstation 4 also connect your dualshock 4 controller to the playstation 4 using the cable the usb cable and make sure that the playstation 4 is completely off not on standby completely off because now we're going to go ahead and press the power button for seven seconds until you hear two beeps let's go ahead and do that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Second beep. Now the PlayStation 4 should go into safe mode. 
Okay, there you go. We are connected on safe mode. If you see this, you're all good. It says connect the DualShock 4 controller using a cable, which we already did. And then press the PlayStation button. Uh, press the PlayStation button there. Now, right here, we got a couple options. You're going to choose this one right here. Number 7, initialize PS4 reinstall system software. Click on that. Okay, it says right here, connect USB, blah, 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 version 4.05 or later. Okay, there you go. Okay, it says the PlayStation 4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, and that's it. Okay guys, there we have it, done with the update. So of course we're gonna do the initial update because remember, once you install a new hard drive, right? You install the hard drive, you're gonna have to install the firmware with the latest update. It's basically gonna be like a new hard drive out of the box. So all the settings here, if you did it before, you're gonna have to do it again because of course this is a new hard drive. It's going to keep on going let's go and accept start now and that's it you have a new playstation 4 a playstation 4 pro with a new hard drive keep in mind this procedure also works with the normal playstation 4 and with the playstation 4 slim it's basically the same procedure the only difference is that the hard drive is going to be located in a different location so here we go to storage management let's see how much we got a new two terabyte hard drive you're going to get 1.76 terabyte now of course there's going to be a lot of people asking me why didn't you upgrade to an ssd i didn't because one i wanted to get more storage than the one that i had here which was one terabyte and if i try to get a two terabyte ssd drive it's going to basically cost me like 400 or 500 dollars something around that price and now you know if you're okay with that paying 400 dollars for for a hard drive that account for a console that costs 400 dollars or less go ahead for it i'm not going to do that so right now uh, we did that this is done so of course make sure when you enter your psn pass email and password here you activate it make sure this is activated that way your playstation 4 the new one is going to be considered your primary playstation 4 you see here is going to tell me if i want to transfer data from the old playstation no i don't want to do that and basically that's it on the old playstation make sure before you do this make sure you go ahead here and press deactivate before you start the process that way, when you go to this PlayStation 4, it actually asks you to activate the PlayStation 4. And that's it, guys. So, so that's it for this video. Like, see there, very easy process to upgrade your hard drive for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And this is what you get. 1.76 terabyte for a 2 terabyte hard drive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.